One thing that, that's often useful to do when establishing trig identities is to rewrite pieces in terms of sine and cosine. And so here are a few examples of when that uh, particular skill is very useful for establishing these identities. So let's go ahead and take a look. So first up, I've got one over um, cosecant squared. Well, looking at my trig identities chart, I can see that one over cosecant is the same thing as sine. Uh, now, it doesn't matter that this one's squared. That squared would just kind of carry along with it. So um, one over cosecant squared becomes just sine squared of theta. Oh, and by the way, remember, my goal is to get here. So I'm going to not mess with that side of the equation. I'm just going to mess with this side and try to come up with one. That's my destination when I'm doing these problems. Okay. Uh, next up, I see one over secant. Well, again, looking at my identities chart, I see that that's this th uh, one over secant is the same thing as cosine. And that squared would just carry along with it. So I end up with sine squared plus cosine squared. Well, uh, I can see this. Hopefully, I recognize this as a um, Pythagorean identity. Sine squared plus cosine squared is the same thing as 1, and so I end up there, which, remember, that was where I was trying to get to. So I've gotten to my destination, I've established that identity uh, by re rewriting in terms of sine and cosine, okay? So some of these are just that easy. Of course, some of them are a little bit trickier, all right? Let's try this one. I'm going to, again, start with the side that's a little more complicated, and my goal is to end up here. I want to end up with cosecant of x, so I'm not going to mess with this, that I'm just going to rearrange the other side and try to get there. So... Again, I'm going to stick with that tip of rewriting in terms of sine and cosine. Well, cotangent is the same thing as uh, cosine over sine. And maybe you have that memorized, or maybe you have to see that in your identities chart. Either way, uh, it's the same thing as cosine of x over sine of x. Now, some people say, well, cotangent's the same thing as 1 over tangent. And I say that's true, but it's not going to get us uh, as far as this is going to get us. So sometimes you may do something right, but it's going to be sort of a dead end for you. So if you get a dead end, try something else. Uh, secant is the same thing as 1 over cosine, so I'll rewrite that piece. And again, I'm going to look to see what I can do. Well, what I notice is these two fractions are being multiplied, and I've got the same thing on the top and bottom, so that cosine of x will cancel out. And multiplying these fractions together, I get 1 over sine of x. And again, looking at my identities chart and my reciprocals, I can see that 1 over sine is the same thing as cosecant, which again was my goal. So I've made it to my destination. Uh, that side was rearranged to become that side over there. I've established the identity. Okay, let's take a look at just one more of these for this video. Uh, I'm going to start with the side that's more complicated, so over here. I'm going to rearrange that to try to come up with cosine of theta. So uh, again, let's start with cotangent like we did last time. Let's rewrite that as cosine over sine. And I'm going to make a big fraction bar now because I'm going to have a fraction within a fraction, a complex fraction. So I want to make sure that these stand out. So then that uh, denominator, that cosecant, becomes 1 over sine. And there's a few ways you can work with um, complex fractions. I prefer, in a case like this, to just multiply by the reciprocal. So this big uh, fraction line means divide. So rather than divide by that fraction, let's just rewrite this problem as times its reciprocal. So that uh, piece on the bottom, that fraction on the bottom, becomes just multiplying by sine over 1. And again, my whole goal was to see what would happen if I did that. Again, I've got the same thing on top and bottom, so I'll cross those out. Uh, multiplying what's left up here, I end up with just cosine of theta, which was my goal. I was trying to get there, and I did, so I've established that identity.